Hello and welcome to part 50 of Let's Play Danganronpa. We're on part 50 already. I only started this like, what, less than three weeks ago. So, we're going to go with Uwada for this one because I've got a bike seat that I can give him. I think he's in, yeah. What? You need something? What should I do? Should I hang out with Uwada? You coming too? Well, this will be fun. Let's dance! Shit yeah! I raised hell with the water. The water and I bonded a little. Would you like to give the water a present? What kind of guy would I be if I didn't? Um. There we go. You are holding on to something like this? Then why didn't you hand it over sooner? With a reaction like that, even I'm feeling a bit of joy. Yo, Nagy, what's your ride? Huh? My ride? Yo, bike, man. What else? Um, I don't have one. Huh? You're not a kid. What are you, what are you doing without a ride? Christ, how damn old-fashioned are you? Um, I'm sorry. When the time comes, it's Kawasaki or nothing. That's what I got. You're a man if you ri you're not a man if you ride anything else. Hey, wish I could show you. She's got monster horsepower, and she handles like a dream. Ain't something just any punk could ride. She takes real skill. You really do like bikes, don't you? Hell yeah, we're street racers. We should hear us. You should hear us all revving up at once. It's fucking nuts. I'd bet you are the leader of Japan's largest biker gang. Yeah, man. Second hat. Second head of the unrivaled Crazy Diamond. Wanna go on our next run? The way everyone's straight pipes roar is in fucking incredible, man. Straight pipes? You don't know? The hell, man. Pipes with no can. Let's see. I'm guessing pipes refers to exhaust pipes. Remember, can is missing. And that causes the bike to roar. So he's talking about... I'm guessing it's with no muffler. You mean an exhaust system without a muffler? There you go, so you did know. Alright, it's settled. Next ride, you're coming with me. Man, this brings me back. Reminds me of my debut. My big bro, da, uh, I can't pronounce that. Was a biker too. I and Mondo. The, the Diamond Brothers. Everyone in town knew who we were. But I could kick his ass any day of a week. The Diamond Brothers. Sounds like they were pretty incredible. So my first ride, I get stuck being the tail gunner, the guy who rides in back and watches for cops. Go figure. They show up and surround me, and then the shit hits the fan. Obviously it was me or them, so I left them all dead in a pool of their own blood. You killed all of them? Wow. The hell are you gawking at? You can't take a couple of cops. You ain't strong enough to carry the flag. In a fight, everyone goes for the head first. Crush your head and the rest of the flock's done for. So, the other gangs, I'm always a target. I can't call myself a head if I ain't strong. Anyway, come with me on the next on my next ride and all of this will make sense. Some things I'm okay with not making sense. Besides, like I said earlier, I don't even have a motorcycle. You can ride on back with me. It's a great time, man. Fucking invigorating. You want me to ride on the back of the bike driven by the guy all over, all the other gangs are gunning for? I think I'll... Heh <laughs> heh, I'm stoked. Sweet. I've got a... I've got something to look forward to when we get out of this dump. With a white grin on his face, it water wa wandered off. Crap. Crap. In my case, it's more like getting out of here doesn't mean I get to stop fearing for my life. Mondo Iwata's report card has been updated. Congratulations, you earned a skill point. Okay, far more depressed than I was an hour ago, I sunk back to my room. <sighs> Okie dokie. Right. Hmm, I, I'm getting kind of hungry. I should probably grab something to eat before it gets too late. Let's see what the cafeteria's got. Okay, I'm going to the cafeteria then. Leave the room? Well, you told me to, idiot! I love that he wouldn't go on a run with Asahina, and yet I make him run everywhere. 
I stepped into the cafeteria, hoping to fill my empty stomach, and instead walked in on a ticking bomb. Actually, no, the bomb had already gone off. Excellent timing, Maggie. Huh? What for? Nagy, I got a favor to ask you. A favor? I don't like the sound of that. Yo, Nagy, we need a witness. Huh? You need a witness? This little bitch here has been running his mouth saying shit like I need to grow a pair. If you didn't, you wouldn't be so quick to resort to violence. If you... If you didn't, you wouldn't ignore our society's rules and go riding around in your little biker gang. What did you just say? What the hell do you know? You have long since been defeated by yourself. If you really had a pair, you'd re readily admit that. So, what are you saying? You got bigger balls than me? Damn straight. Then we'll have a contest. If you say you've got the bigger balls, then show me what you've got. As you wish. And that's where you come in, Nagy. You're the neutral witness. When you say contest, you're not going to, like, fight each other, are you? You know, the bath just across from here, there's a sauna in there, too. I see. Simple and decisive. Whoever can handle staying in the sauna the longest is the winner. You fucking got it, bitch. Are you really going to do this? Fuck yeah, we are. You're not going to last more than a few minutes. Everyone knows that people like you all talk. Oh, you are just asking for it. Fine, I'll take a handicap. Not much fun if I don't give you a fighting chance. A handicap? I'll go in with my clothes on. No way, that's suicide. What, you chicken it out? You'll regret this. Shut up, let's do this. Who are the hell do you want? If you want, you can take off your uniform, and I'll just let you and I'll let you off with just a chuckle. How about you worry about you and let me deal with me? Your face is bright red. You look like a you look like a baboon's ass. My face is naturally naturally red. Quit acting tough. Acting tough. I'm nowhere near through. I couldn't even go for a nice hot bowl of udon. Are you guys alright? But they paid me no heed. A few minutes passed, which then became ten, and then an hour. Don't you... It's about time you gave up. You can't even talk right anymore. What are you talking about? I'm just fine. Actually, I'm shushing. I feel kind of cold. That ain't good, man. Uh, guys, there's really no need to be so stubborn. Don't you think this has gone on long enough? Shut up! Well, whatever happens, it's not on me. <clears throat> May I have your attention, please? The time is now 10 p.m. Night time is now in effect. The cafeteria is now off limits and the doors will be locked shortly. And with that, I wish you all a good night, sweet dreams. You hear that? It's night time. We can just call it a draw. There are no draws in a true contest. The only thing that matters. It's who wins and who loses. You said it, bitch. That you fucking said it. Bring it on. I'm in this to the deepest pits of hell. To the deepest pits of hell? I might be in it for a long time. They might be in it for that long, but I'm not sure. But I'm sure not. Hey, uh, sorry, but, uh, yeah, you go back to your room. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. You'll be telling your kids stories about me for years. Look forward to tomorrow morning. I'll have this room kneeling at my feet. You say that, but I can see it in your face. You're through. You mean you are? Good night, guys.
Hopefully they don't push themselves too far, like to death. But never let it get that far, surely. My mind filled with concern, I drifted off to sleep. Monokuma Theatre, Act 7. If it really is such a thing as fate, does that mean a person's future is set in stone from birth? If a future is an aggregation of past events, does that mean a person's future is determined by the past? I don't know. And I keep on living because I don't know. I live every day like it's my last because I don't know. That was a boring one, wasn't it? Ding dong, ding dong. Good morning, you guys. It is now 7 a.m. Rise and shine. Let's make today into the best day it can be. Alright, I've got to do this really quickly. Next episode on the top right. Previous on the top left. To find out what happens, what Nagy wonders, join me for the next episode. Until then, folks, I'll see you.